Today I'm taking apart another turbo. Now I'm going to remove this rear wastegate plate. We've got some frozen studs with nuts, but if you break these studs off, they're very hard to drill out and tap out. So I'm going to try as best I can to get this wastegate plate off. Let's see if we can do it without heat. And we're gonna use my favorite penetrant, which is coral oil. I've already soaked this up about an hour ago and I tried to move a couple of these nuts. That one, I think I got one or two of them there. Man. Okay, this one's coming off. And this one's actually pulling the stud out, which is okay. <laughs> That's better than breaking it off. Well, this one's moving. Let's see how this one does. And I'll rock it back and forth a couple times. And then we'll shoot it with a little more coral oil. And this one should come the rest of the way off without any problem. Okay, back to these two. Man, I can't back them up enough to bring them forward. I try to tighten them up a little bit. And they're pretty rusty, so I'm using a six-sided socket here. So let's bring in vibration. And let's see how effective vibration is in getting these two nuts loose. All right, here we go. Here's my molder tool custom made here. We'll put it right on there. Spray some penetrant in. Watch the vibration move the penetrant. All right, <laughs> let's see if that's going to work. Okay, it moved. Look at that. Okay, I got it to move a little bit. I'm going to back it up as far as I can without overstressing the stud. Look at that. There it's moving. Now I'll back it up again. Right there. Let's see if this one, no, this one still doesn't want to move. So I'm going to hit both of them now with vibration. Okay, let's see if this one's going to move. Okay, look at that, it moved. Now I'm going to bring in the wire brush. This is a really stiff wire brush. And we're at least going to try to get these threads a little bit cleaned up now. Okay, a little more penetrant, a little more vibration. There you go. It's worth the patience. For those of you who've done something like this and broken these studs off, you'll know exactly what I mean here. <laughs> you just don't want to do that in these old cast iron housings. 
We're gonna give that final one just a little bit more. Here's your valve right in there for the wastegate. Okay, I know I could have brought the heat out. I could have even brought the acetylene torch out and probably gotten these off. But you know, but maybe you don't have heat. Maybe heat isn't handy. <laughs> Keep in mind my secret weapon here, okay? Now over the past couple years, when I first started experimenting with vibration on these rusty bolts and nuts, I've used a number of different attachments to apply the vibration to, to them, and this seems to be the most effective. It's actually a wrench cut short and drilled out to fit on the multi-tool. You don't want it too long or you can overstress the motor and the multi-tool. And I know I'm probably abusing this tool with that kind of you know hard banging. It's probably gonna wear the tool out prematurely, but I don't care. This is an inexpensive multi-tool. <laughs> I'd much rather go through one of these and break a few of these studs off. So this is my modification. Don't be afraid to experiment with some of your own. 